Hi, my name is Jason Pierce, and I'm the Director of Business Development at StellarNet Spectrometers. We hope uh, everybody and their families are doing okay during this uh, pandemic. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to do an at-home spectroscopy demonstration for you guys, like many of our technical sales staff has done recently, uh, mainly because I have been at our factory helping our production team fill essential orders. Uh, we are working in two shifts, early morning and late at night, uh, and we are taking all of the social distancing precautions. That means six feet, uh, we are all wearing face masks. We're washing our hands regularly. Um, at home, I'm also taking a bunch of vitamins uh, and immuno supplements uh, like zinc, vitamin C, oil of oregano, uh, and so forth. Um, and this morning, I actually had a little bit of an incident uh, and thought it would be a good opportunity to show you uh, some of our new Raman spectroscopy systems. So uh, check it out. So you can see I uh, tend to be kind of a klutz in the morning and I spilled all of the pills everywhere. Um, it's kind of hard to tell which one is which um, and I better be careful because I have some sleeping pills in here, the oil of oregano is somewhere in here, um, my fiance and I are big scuba divers so there's motion sickness pills, uh, our dog has allergy pills which are in here. Um, so I need to figure out which one is which. Um, luckily, I have all of our portable Raman spectroscopy systems with me. So I have one of our new handheld Raman spectrometer systems that I'm going to show you. Uh, it's just slightly larger than a cell phone. It's pretty powerful. I'm going to do all of the measurements on it today. Uh, and I also have our Stellar Case Raman, which is... Uh, uh, a great spectroscopy platform that houses all of our research-grade uh, Raman spectrometer systems inside a rugged Pelican case. Uh, there's a main power control system, a TEC fan, a Raman laser module, and of course your window screen. So we have a research platform and we also have a handheld platform uh, which can do different types of Raman spectroscopy. Uh, if you guys don't know what Raman is, it's a technique where you fire a laser at a sample. Uh, the sample will vibrate and absorb some of the light uh, and it will then uh, scatter the Raman signal, which will be of a higher wavelength uh, but of a lesser energy. Uh, and each individual type of sample will have its own Raman fingerprint. So we'll be able to take the different Raman spectra of the pills and be able to figure out which one is which. Um, I'll also show you how to add a sample to the library and get matches. So uh, check it out. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and put the Raman case system away and get out the handheld device. I'm going to just go ahead and power on the Android tablet, um, which you can see here. The Raman system also comes with some different accessories. Uh, it will come with a cuvette holder and also a direct attach uh, point and shoot type uh, connector which will allow me to shoot the pills directly. So I'm going to keep those out and I'm going to go ahead and put the case away as well uh, and try to get a better angle at these pills. Let's see here. We're going to connect the main attachment right to the front. There's a little magnet key that's going to activate the laser for laser safety. Um, once I do that, there is a little app which you click and it launches the Raman ID identification application. There is an admin login which I'm going to click sign in. It gives me a warning message uh, that it's a dangerous laser and I should be careful and I should know what I'm doing or have a laser safety officer who does nearby. I'm going to click OK and I'm ready to start testing. Let's do one of these gel caps. Let's do the green gel cap here. And I'm going to put it right at the edge of this uh, 
focusing lens and I'm going to be shooting the laser right now at the sample. So as the laser is firing you can see that we get a Raman spectrum on the screen and now it's going to compare to a database. Luckily it comes with a complete database and um, I also have put in some samples previously maybe and this matches to ibuprofen. All right so we know that that is okay to take but it's not what we're looking for. Uh, we have a blue liquid gel cap here which we'll test next. Just take the gel cap put it right in front of the focusing optic uh, now this spectrometer system is a 785 nanometer laser. Uh, it has 0 to 500 milliwatts of power. Uh, depending on uh, the user and the user class, we can limit the laser output. Um, this is going to match to a sleep aid. Uh, good thing I didn't take this because nobody wants to take a sleep aid early in the morning. So. Um, yeah, let's try um, one of these white pills. I think one of these white pills is zinc. So now we're in search of zinc. I'm going to click test. Ooh, look at that Raman spectrum. That's pretty bright, pretty shiny. And it is going to match to Tylenol could take this one maybe keep that one later for after some beers um, okay let's try this little white one I think that this one is the dog's allergy pill um, the laser is firing it's comparing to the database and it is comparing the motion sickness pill so I uh, don't want to take that this morning. Not the dog's allergy pill, though. Glad I tested. By product of elimination, this one should be the allergy pill. And that one matched pretty quickly. Let's see if it gets it right. As it's comparing, the answer is, dun, 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 drum roll, Claritin. All right. So we figured out which one is Tux's allergy pill. You ready for your pill boy? Now here's a trick I learned. Tux loves cheese. So we will get him a slice of good old American cheese. And we will hide his allergy pill inside. All right, buddy. Ready? There you go. He might have found the pill. That leaves us with this unmarked white pill for what I think is zinc. And I'm pretty sure this is the oil of oregano because I've taken it before. Let's go ahead and um, let's, shoot, let's shoot the sample. Oh, that's quick. It comes back with no match. So let's go ahead and add zinc to the library. I wanted to do that anyway. So I have a bottle of the zinc right here and I can just take a new sample out and put it down because I know that this is zinc. Although this one probably is zinc. We'll be able to test the known with the unknown. So uh, all you have to do within the software is you're going to go ahead and uh, click build libraries and it's going to let you just take the measurement and add it to the library. So we're going to go ahead and check the sample. We're going to fire the laser right at it. Okie dokie. We get a nice spectrum there and we're going to click add to library and uh, we're going to add the sample name. So we're going to add uh, zinc to the sample name. All right. Save. All right. And now we're going to go back to test and that's in this little identification. And we're going to go ahead and test the unknown. All right. And we get a match for zinc. So, so yeah, this is a very handy uh, Raman spectrometer system. Um, we're currently uh, uh, not manufacturing this product as a new product for 2020. Uh, due to the current quarantine, uh, we are only manufacturing essential products, which... Uh, 
uh, are all of the systems that we've built uh, for the past 25, 30 years, all of our research grade spectrometers for uh, defense, energy, uh, public health sectors. Uh, so you can still get those and we're working hard to get them out to you. Uh, the Raman spectrometer platform, I hope will be, uh, this one, the handheld one, will be out uh, shortly after the quarantine is over. So uh, I wish everybody uh, a safe journey. Uh, and take care of yourselves out there.